Hi, Dr. Greg Bindle, your friendly anatomy professor. This is part three of the skull. We're just doing a, uh, basically a follow-up on a couple of things that were not covered on the other videos. There are seven bones of the orbit of the eye, and I'd like to go over that and a little bit of the um, palatine. So when you look in the eye, you can see the uh, superior roof here, and I don't know if the lighting, you can see that very well, but this is part of the frontal bone. So the frontal bone is outlining up here. Uh, the zygomatic bone is here, and we can see that part of the orbit of the eye, the lateral inferior aspect, uh, is the zygomatic bone. Back here, if you, everything that I'm tracing, I don't know how deep you can see that, but that is, and I'm going to try to adjust the lighting, maybe it'll help some. Uh, this is the greater wing of the sphenoid, so we have uh, the frontal zygomatic sphenoid. This uh, maxilla comes up, and we can see that this part of the inferior floor of the orbit of the eye is the maxilla. We have a little bit of the palatine bone right there in the back. We have uh, some of the ethmoid bone that is right in through here. And we have the lacrimal bone. So the lacrimal bone is right there. So that is the seven bones of the orbit of the eye. Notice that the nasal bone is not part of the orbit of the eye. Uh, when we look underneath um, here on the roof of the uh, mouth, there's a few things we didn't uh, list or go over yet. And so I wanted to go over that. You can see that there's this little hole, oops, sorry, this thing's in the way. There we go. So you can see that this is basically the roof of the mouth, and this is made up of two bones. The first bone here is part of the maxilla, but what this is called is the palatine process of the maxilla. We can see that it is, uh, has a little uh, division in the center here. That's the median palatine suture, and up in the very front, uh, right here is a little hole, and that is the incisive fossa. The very uh, seriously doubt that would be tagged. I don't even think it's in your uh, lab book. But the incisive fossa, the uh, inner maxillary suture, and again, the palatine process of the maxillary bone. If we look, there is another bone right here. And so this bone is uh, called the horizontal plate of the palatine bone. So this is a palatine bone, but the horizontal plate of the palatine and this is the maxilla. So palatine, maxilla, uh, two different bones here forming the roof of the, the mouth. We see that this is still part of the bone called the vulmer. And so the, the vulmer is here and it meets up with the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone. I think that is everything that we did not name earlier. All right, good luck on the tests.